Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, we're back at acrylic pouring again today. If you guys have seen my last video, um, the biggest pour so I've done so far, I think I called it, um, that was a birthday present for my dad. Um, I poured that downstairs in the garage because my dog is shedding like crazy and I didn't want to get dog hairs in it. But as soon as I got downstairs and started pouring, I realized, okay, oh shit, we've got fruit flies down here. Um, so I built this plastic tent around it with trash can, uh, with trash bags. And um, yeah, I don't know if I knocked it or something or if my dad touched it and just doesn't want to tell me. But uh, I'll show you guys what happened, how it looks, and um, we'll see where we go from there. I've never poured over uh, already dry pour. I don't know how this is going to look. And I'm pretty pissed because um, <coughs> I used baby powder. I saw this on a couple other channels, and I read about it on the internet that... Um, you could just put the baby powder on top of your painting so it could absorb like the silicone that you use in your pour. And you could just let that sit and scrape it off and then wipe it off and everything would be fine. And because I didn't want to go through that oh, annoying phase of taking my little micro cloth thing and dipping that in distilled water and then like dabbing the painting over and over and over again especially by the size of this one it would have been hideous so um so yeah i poured i poured baby powder all over that thing and um it has been terrible getting that shit off so i'm not going to do that again Maybe I did something wrong, I don't know. Maybe like I need to clean it off a different way. If you guys have any tips, please just leave them down below because that was, that was terrible. That was, okay, so I'll show you what, what happened to the poor and um, then we'll get to work. Okay guys, so basically this is the painting. Um, and if we go in, you can see, like, these disgusting smudge marks here. And where is it? It goes... Let me zoom out. So it's here, 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 here. Um over here which like I don't know through the camera it doesn't look like that horrible but um, it's pain it's painting the eye so we're gonna get rid of that but so let me correct myself because I said earlier I have never poured on a dried pour before um, I have of course like if I ruined a painting I would just do a new pour over it but what I haven't done is um, pour partially over an old painting to add to the old painting so I have no idea how this is gonna look and I hope I don't ruin it even more because then I'll have to do another one eight okay eight flow troll so I always mix um, one part paint, one part Floetrol, and um, half part uh, distilled water. And then I use as much silicone as I like um, in each color. But um, sometimes things get a little out of hand, so it's not always, you know, perfect. So guys, I'm really freaking out about <clears throat> this right now because I'm I'm just terrified. I am really terrified. 
side. Oh, where am I going to put them? I'm going to put silicone in the black. One. Two. Three. Also, one, two, three, and then the red. One, two. Okay. That's supposed to be on top. Pinkish stuff. Okay, a little bit of this. Oops. Some red. Black. Okay, so it needs to go over here. Then I can, I guess we can move it around. Okay, that isn't that bad. That part isn't covered though. Um,
Okay, I don't like that at all. So. Let's get that up there like that. It ain't looking that bad. Could have been worse. I'm gonna work on this side to give it a little bit more contrast. Sorry guys, the battery of the other camera just uh, died on me, but um, I'm done. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I'm going to flip this camera around and show you guys um, what it looks like. I guess it's okay. I can live with it. It's okay. If it dries well, then all is good. Got all the marks covered up. Tried to make it blend into each other, but um, yeah, this is the overall look to it. I hope it, hope it dries nice. Got some nice cells going on up in here. Focus, yes, thank you. These look really nice. And then down here where it all comes together. Now what is this one corner I still don't like. I gotta swoosh this down. 
Oh god, now I'm just fucking with it even more. God damn, Sarah. Alright guys, I will keep you updated and show you how this is, how this turned out when it's dry. Um, yeah, and then we'll see, then we'll have to varnish it. Okay, I guess this is it for today. I'm going to move this baby into another room so it can't get doggy hairs all over it. Isn't she adorable? Yeah. So, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.